Welcome back to our Neo 2 100% walkthrough. On this episode, we'll be doing the main mission called Ruin Draws Near. We've got seven Kadama to collect. We've got one hot spring location to get, and we've got a mission-based achievement. My name is Azavar or Azza. Now let's jump into the video. Okay, so let's get cracking. We've got some enemies waiting for us on the bridge, so just give them the old one too. Uh, watch out for these holes in the bridge. We've got an enemy waiting for you just behind this uh, uh, barricade there. Just watch out for that bad boy. If you can get headshots, go for it. I've got an enemy patrolling the bridge. So we'll buff up for that guy. Try and start off with a sloth talisman to make our lives easy. You can pop some shuriken and kunai on this bad boy. Uh, kunai does quite a lot of damage to these. So we'll just give that a quick whirl like so. Uh, just clear out that bridge. We've got a Kadama quite close. So push on up. Enemy up in the uh, ledge there. On the ledge there. Uh, so grab this item. Yokai waiting for us. We'll go for high stance. Just give him the old one too. There we go. And critical strike. Okay, uh, so that's all clear. We can pop around here up the ladders. And first Kadama is here. Grab the loot. Grab the Kadama. It's tucked away in the corner there. There we go, that's the first one. And then this is kind of like the uh, mid section of the game, or I guess like the central hub is a better word to describe it. So we'll grab the shrine. And uh, we've also got a level up, so I'll just pop that into Courage. Uh, so there's a bunch of shortcuts that will all lead back to this kind of like central hub area. Uh, but first of all, we've got to go this way through these uh, open double doors. Uh, Yokai waiting for us over there, so let's head on up. Try and get the horn break. He's out of key, so we can just stagger him and critical. That'll do. There we go. Uh, we can open these doors. I'm not actually going to go in this building just yet, but you can pop those open. We'll check out that building in just a second. Uh, we'll grab the loot there. Uh, go up these ladders. A lot of the time you can tell when you go in the right direction on this uh, stage because that yokai will pop out and talk to you, give you some dialogue and stuff like that. So head on into this building and Kadama is tucked away in the corner. Grab that. And then we'll just clear out this building next. So grab this item. We've got an enemy waiting for us just here. Up some buffs. Let's give him the old one too. That should sort him out. Let's grab all the loot. Uh, we have some more loot just tucked away behind these boxes. And next we'll go down. So if, if you drop down onto this platform, you can get an extra item. This one just here, so we'll grab that bad boy. And we'll drop on down. Just give this guy the old one too. And then give him the water feathers to delete him. And we can also open this shortcut as well, so we'll pop that open. And this is what I was talking about before, about the central hub bit. This is like, uh, leads back to that central section. We well, don't need to go there yet, but uh, you can pop the doors open for the shortcut. And then we've got treasure here, so we'll grab that treasure just tucked away behind these stairs. And then we'll head on up to the top floor of this building. Uh, this is where the mission based achievement comes in so mission based achievement on this mission is basically ring six bells uh, one of those is right in front of us a couple of enemies waiting for us try and get a headshot on this guy it's a bit spicy to try and get a headshot on this guy you have to get like a certain angle for it to actually uh, work uh, we'll ideally try and get slow or sloth on this uh, guy first of all Get some kunai in there whilst he's beyblading across. 
Uh, let's watch out for that guy's attacks because they are very strong. So it's going to pop some kunai to play it nice and safe. And uh, clear the dark realm. Uh, what you can do, basically these bells, it has to be a heavy attack. It's actually two heavy attacks to make the bell fall. Uh, so we have to do two heavy attacks on every single one of these bells. And I think there's six bells in total. Uh, what you can do, a little trick, is the first heavy attack actually makes uh, sort of like the ring sound. And Yokai will fall over. Uh, so you can ring that and then sort of like head on over. And, uh, you know, get like an extra attack on those yokai like that. But yeah, if you do light attacks on these, it does absolutely nothing. So it has to be heavy. So two heavy attacks until the bell falls to the floor. And then you're good to go. So make sure to grab that first one. And then we'll just uh, clear out this area. Grab that and grab the loot and the core and then we'll head on down this way and kick down these ladders and then drop down the ladders so now we're back in this uh, sort of like first section so we can go through these doors next yokai waiting for us around here so we'll try and get a slow tasman to start things off on this guy Get purification on if we can do. Just gonna back up. We managed to get purification. So a couple of feathers should take care of him now. That'll do. And then we'll get the uh, treasure chest that's just tucked away in this corner where he was. Put all the bits and bobs in there, grab his core. A couple of enemies waiting for us here, so what we'll do is slow. And then just a bunch of kunai and shuriken. Some feathers. That'll do. Uh, kunai quite strong against uh, those enemies. Got a ranged guy over in the corner, so just pop him in the teeth. There we go. These red barrels are explosive. So with these barrels, you can shoot them with the, the rifle to blow them up. Uh, the, the arrows don't blow them up. Or we also have the option of a cannon. So if you do have a cannon, uh, you can whip out the old cannon. And uh, there we go. We got it. Blow up the wall directly. So you can shoot this to blow up the barrel or just shoot the wall. And that will actually just, uh, the cannon itself will just go straight through the wall, so. That's that. I'm going to switch the rifle back on. Don't really use the cannon too much myself. Uh, so we have a Kadama that is tucked away in this corner and a treasure chest. So we'll grab all that good stuff. And we can push through this way, up these stairs, and this will lead us... Uh, kind of back to this area where we kicked down the shortcut where this, the uh, ladders were. And we'll just continue pushing forward, which is this way. We can tell because the yokai has given us that dialogue again. And then at this sort of like crossroads, first of all, we'll go left. And we'll clear this uh, room out in here. A couple of enemies waiting for us so we can pop this yokai in the head. Just careful of that guy who packs a punch then ideally we'll try and get this guy's attention. What I'll do is try and put sacred, well I'll put sacred arrows on and then we'll try and get two arrows on him to get to get purification. The arrows kept going underneath his armpit there. Which was not ideal but uh, yeah we got the uh, purification on eventually. Although it's pretty much gone off at this point. There we go, so that was the initial intention with that. Uh, purification arrows uh, two or three times, and then just follow that up with some feathers to uh, give him a tickle and uh, delete him. So that is that. 
Uh, you can pop some water on yourself there to help with the flames if you if you get knocked into the flames and stuff. And uh, we have another bell, so what we can do once again is heavy attack the bell, knocks that yokai over, and then just feathers to delete him. And that's the fight. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell a second time, because uh, like I mentioned, we've got to hit it two times, two heavy attacks make it drop down so that's two bells so far and then a couple of different ways we can go what we'll do is uh, continue on through this way and follow this slope up and around to this building a couple of enemies will be waiting for us see what we can pop on to help with this fight we've got barrier Try and keep this guy slowed, ideally, if we can do. Then we'll pop a bunch of feathers. Uh, fire feathers. Should do pretty well here. we got to be careful. There we go. We got it. Uh, if we've got any of those fragrant woods, we'll pop those. There we go. Uh, so we'll keep on pushing through this way, just uh, run straight up to this guy, give him the old one-two. There we go, that's that. And then when we are in this building, what we'll do is head into this kind of uh, little corridor bit around here, follow it round, and then drop down the hole in the floor. This is the only way you can get into this particular room on this level and there's a Kadama that's tucked away in the corner behind those boxes. Uh, feel free to smash the boxes for some extra ammo, you might get some bits and bobs so just uh, give them the old one too. And then we can open this door from this side. We've got a little bit more left to explore around this building. Just watch for that actual um, sort of like trap door thing here. You can fall down there. Uh, we actually might fall down there on purpose Quite a good way to get down to where we need to go. Watch out for these uh, human enemies patrolling this bit. There we go. We can clear those out now. And you can kick those ladders down there in case you need a shortcut to, to get back up here. Uh, but what we're going to do is head down that section. We can pop water on ourselves for that water buff. Fall down a trap do at the trap door uh, into this area. I think it's an item through the fire, so let's grab that on my Omega's locks. And through the fire, a couple of enemies waiting for us, so you can uh, sometimes get a headshot on this guy if it's being kind to us. Uh, which it is. Enemy just waiting over here, let's give him the old one, two. There we go, and we have a hot spring. Uh, in this section here, so just behind this bell, We've got a hot spring. Make sure to get this hot spring if you're going for all hot springs achievement, all hot spring locations. So this is the one and only hot spring uh, for this stage. So that's that. We'll just leave those bells for one sec. Open these doors. Uh, enemy will be waiting for you against the corner, so you can pop him. There's one there, you can pop him as well. Uh, I'm going to opt for, if I've got explosive bullets, expl I'll go for those, explosive rounds. I will trigger this guy into action. Try and get a sloth on him and just use what we can. It might be worth using a shinobi box or something to uh, top up your stuff before this fight. Ideally a bunch of water feathers will probably delete this guy, so we'll just go for that. Uh, that'll do. Uh, so water feathers there, and we've got the two bells, so we've got the heavy attack one, heavy attack two. Make sure it falls down. We'll just grab all the loot and stuff. Treasure chest. Grab all those bits and bobs, all looking good. A little bit more loot there, might as well grab that. 
And then the second bell of this room, so one heavy attack and two. Make sure it falls down. And then that is this uh, building clear. So up these stairs, that's where those human enemies were. And where we got the shortcut. Uh, so what we'll do, oh, I've got a Sadama, so we'll pop him some random item. Uh, we'll drop him maybe this sword. See what we get. So we've got purple rarity. I think it was level 99. Uh, we dropped a sword, so it should give us level 99 and purple rarity. Uh, rifle. That uh, might work out quite well, actually. So we've got 635 attack on our current 700. That's... Uh, Actually worked out really well, so nice one. Uh, so we'll grab that rifle, and then what we'll do is backtrack a little bit across here, just past the trapdoor section, uh, back to uh, this sort of like central uh, bell bit. Follow that round up this slope again, uh, back to the room where we originally dropped down for the Kadama down the corridor, but this time uh, we're going to head the opposite direction. Uh, across the walkway here. So just give that guy the old one too with a rifle to blow the barrel up. Got another shortcut here which leads back down once again to the central hub. Uh, we're just gonna check in this room before we go back to the central hub. Just pop that guy in the teeth. That guy in the teeth as well. Okay so that is all that. Uh, we've got all the uh, items and bits and bobs in this room, just take out those guys. Uh, nothing too crazy in that room, just uh, a bit of loot and stuff. Uh, so what we'll do next is, this is the way to go, and we've got like a mini boss coming up, it's a human mini boss. Uh, which can be a bit spicy, a couple of different tactics that you can use for that boss. Um, we've got like our feather strats that we are using most of the time. And then we've also got our human enemy strat, which is the poison and rejuvenation talisman. Um, so at this point, if you was going to use the poison strat, you would switch your ninjutsu and stuff over to the poison strat. Um, if you want to refer to the strats that I'm talking about, we used it on the human boss on the pervading waters main mission. So you can check out the pervading waters main mission and the human boss on there if you want to see the poison uh, and the rejuvenation combo. Uh, what I'm going to do though is just stay as we are at the minute, maybe just change a couple of things around. So what I'm going to do is switch out the lantern fruit with red spider lily. So red spider lily is basically just a more powerful version of lantern uh, fruit. Uh, so we'll do that. We don't technically need salt for a human boss but uh, We'll keep it on. Also just, just going to check skill points real quick. So with the Kasuragami, I'm going to unlock this one over here, which is Renegade Dragon and press yes to set it. So Renegade Dragon is uh, this move here. It's, it's quite a powerful move. Uh, hold down LB and then press Y. Like a flurry of attacks. And uh, Let's just check our skills, see if we can pop any more bits and bobs into Samurai, stuff like that might help with the fight. We'll probably use Yokai Shift, so we'll uh, pop some points into that. And uh, just going to grab some sort of like random nodes and stuff on that, I'm not really too fussed about that one. Uh, on Myo Magic will work towards the bottom here, which is uh, increased On Myo Magic capacity. Uh, we'll grab this one, uh, maximum key increased by plus 10 when you have Kasuragami as your main weapon. Can't hurt to have that. Uh, we just got on my magic capacity increase, which means if we go to ready, we can probably pop on a few more talismans than what we normally have. So Arch Yokai up by one, Barrier up by one, takes us up to 33 out of 33. So we've got five Arch Yokai, uh, five Barrier, five Sloth, and five Purification. So that's all looking good. I think we'll just rock and roll like that. That should be fine. Uh, it might be worth popping a Inspiriting Gem if your Yokai Gauge is not 100% full uh, at this point. So we don't have loads of those to be fair, but I'll pop one because it'll 
better to be safe than sorry on these human bosses because they can be quite spicy meatballs. Uh, so we'll use that inspiriting gem so our, our yokai gauge is topped up. Currently at 100, so we'll go back up the shortcut that we created, follow it round. Just need to quickly give this guy the old one too. Uh, that'll do. And we've got an item here, and then human boss is inside these double doors. Uh, so yeah, just uh, ready up. Might be worth popping a Scampus. If you do have one on this fight. So basically, you're just going to absolutely spam this guy with um, like feathers and uh, pretty much everything. We've got kunai, shuriken, get purification on him if we can do. Um, get the feathers, debuffs, try and get confusion status on him. Uh, combine all the debuffs, maybe even do yokai form if we need to. Let's pop on uh, all buffs. Try and start off with a slow uh, talisman. Uh, we've also got a Kasha yokai ability that we can pop a Kasha on him as well. So we have got slow, which is always good. Going to try for Kasha. There we go. A couple of feathers if we can do. Uh, ideally pop Sloth back on. Just going to be uh, quite a lot of spam uh, really with this guy. Try and dodge past that. Let's use a, sped, uh, a red spider lily. Uh, spam through the uh, feathers. It's got confusion on currently. Uh, keep your eye on your magic gauge because you might need to pop a red spider lily uh, if your magic gauge is, is looking low. That'll do. Uh, so yeah, just basically a lot of spam with that mission, just uh, with that fight, sorry, just keep spamming through all your bits and bobs to uh, delete him. And that is that, we can pop these doors open. Uh, you'll notice that I tried to keep uh, slow on him uh, the most that I could do. So uh, ideally you want to make your life a little bit easier by popping a slow talisman, keeping him uh, uh, slowed down. Uh, so we've got a shrine here, we'll pop this bad boy. Uh, so yeah, just a lot of spam really with that and uh, the red spider lily when you can do in between your feather spam. That should do the trick with that uh, with that fight. So you can actually change the red spider lily back to plant uh, lantern plant fruit. So we'll pop that back on. That's all looking good. And then we've just got the final bit to do of the stage. Not, nothing too crazy at this point, just uh, looting, shooting, slicing, dicing really at this point. A couple of those bells that we need to ring. Uh, so we'll just jump down and uh, get cracking. Trying to get purification on. We've got to watch our health because we've got... Uh, uh, like the fire debuff. Ideally, I want this guy to stay still so we can spam him with water. There we go. There we can do. Grab the uh, grab the soul core there, and that will uh, restore our magic forward slash anima. Uh, a couple of bits and bobs we can grab. We've got an item just here, so we'll grab that bad boy. Shrapnel bombs, and uh, we'll go for slow forward slash sloth and then kunai this bad boy back up a little bit some more kunai spam there we go that'll do just uh, spamming with the kunai and the shuriken sort him out a couple of enemies will be sort of lying around here so we'll just jump on in Watch out for some ranged enemies as well. There'll be some ranged enemies that will be waiting for you somewhere. 
There we go. The one there. Uh, I think there are some more. Ideally, going to take this guy out first. You don't want to aggro too many. I'm not sure where he's trying to run, but there we go. Uh, there is another ranged enemy somewhere. So just be be careful. I think he's hiding behind that bit there. We'll try and get a lock on. We'll go for uh, slow. Try and get purification on. Uh, back up. Probably fire is quite best for accuracy on this guy. Because he's jumping all over the place. Uh, just give him a bit of a tickle with the old feathers. Uh, there is a yokai somewhere that's waiting. Uh, I think it's his, this one that's laying on the floor. Uh, so that is that. And then just do a lot of uh, mopping up really in this room. We'll drop a weapon, see if we can get anything. Level 99 fists. Let's see what we can get. Maybe a bow if he's feeling generous. It is actually a bow. Oh, maybe I'll say that more often. It seems to be working out all right. Uh, so yeah, we can uh, now switch the bow to the more powerful bow. Nice one. Uh, yeah, so let's just uh, loot and shoot and slice and dice and really in this area. So let's grab all the bits and bobs and head out over here. Kadama tucked away along this pathway. Grab the Kadama. Uh, we've got two more bells to get. One of them is here, so just heavy attack, heavy attack. Make sure it falls down. Uh, grab this loot. Got one more bell. Uh, we've also got a, a fake wall. That person died from red behavior, and this person died from uh, yellow, which means it's got to be blue. Perfect. Uh, there we go. So we'll just grab all the bits and bobs. We've got a treasure chest tucked away. Grab the item. Grab the Kadama. That is all that. And then we'll work our way up. A couple of bits and bobs to grab. Uh, items and stuff knocking about. Just knock him down there. Uh, this is the last bell, so just heavy attack, heavy attack. Make sure it falls down. And uh, if you haven't got the achievement already, you should get the achievement pop-up now for the uh, bells. Uh, Mission-based achievement. Then we'll drop off these broken stairs, get this Kadama here. And then this is the last Kadama of the mission. So there we go, we've got the, the, uh, all the Kadamas as well. Uh, and then I think we're just going to head back up. This guy... That, we, that we're not down earlier. So that is that. And we'll head up the this broken bit. I think we can get a shortcut, so what we'll do is take out this guy first of all. Just pop a couple of ranged attacks on him. Uh, buff up for this guy. Ideally get lock on and start with... In fact, he's not got any keys, so maybe we can just... That'll do. That'll do. Uh, so kick this down for the shortcut. Item here. And I think there's one more item just in front of the boss room, if memory does serve. Uh, so what we'll do is just rest at the shrine at this point, then just go in for the boss of the stage. So rest up. Uh, you might be able to pop out a cheeky level, perhaps if we've got any items that we can maybe work through and uh, 
pump that up to level up. I don't think it's quite going to get there, actually. It's quite a, a lot for level up, actually, at this point. So, uh, yeah, we'll just leave that for now. Uh, that should all be fine. We've got the setup. This boss is a, a yokai boss, so he should just uh, get wrecked pretty easily with the purification and the feathers combo. Um, so our current sort of setup should be fine. We can also use purifying salt on this yokai boss as well if you want to. Uh, I probably would use a lantern fruit just to top up the magic to max. But uh, yeah, other than that, we should be good. So let's head on up. Um, with this boss, the only the main thing that I would say to watch out for is it's got an insanely powerful grab. Uh, so if he gets you with his grab, you will probably die. Um, so just watch out for that. Basically, what will happen, a lot of the time he'll kind of like be on the opposite side of the room and he'll charge towards you. So if he's charging towards you, uh, most of the time you can actually just kind of like double tap, uh, dodge and forward to sort of like do a roll. So forward and double tap dodge. You should just kind of like dodge straight through the boss. You'll be on the opposite side of him, at which point you can turn around and, you know, throw some kunai or some feathers and stuff like that. So a lot of the time, that's basically what we're going to be doing. Uh, just be very careful of the grab because that's the one that will just delete your character, essentially. Uh, other than that, we're going to be doing the same kind of tactics, sloth, talisman, uh, all the buffs, and uh, spam him with our stuff. So let's buff up. And ideally, we'll hit him with a slow talisman straight off the bat. I'm going to skip past the cutscene. That's the one that I was talking about, so you can just sloth. And then we're just going to back up. I'm going to go for feathers, first of all. Try and get the feathers uh, on him. And then just go for the other ones, water gone into um, Dark Realm, so what we'll do for Dark Realm is we will also go into our yokai form. Let's watch out for his spin to him. That will keep spinning as well. Again, just try and dodge through. We'll try and go for the same kind of tactics. Uh, sloth Talisman. Try and get your uh, feathers on. Use your uh, magic lantern if you need to, your, your fruits. Reapply your sloth. out for that grab it's gonna go for kunai there to finish the job and that's the fight so similar kind of tactics a lot of spam uh, as per usual just keep on spamming away uh, it might be worth popping on instead of the lantern plant fruits you could pop on the red spider lily if you've got any red spider lilies that will just help with your magic regen a little bit uh stuff like that but yeah other than that that's the end of the mission so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did remember to like subscribe and drop a comment thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one